ask ourselves what the purpose of an educational system is. Of course, there are sharp differences on this matter. There's the uh, traditional interpretation that comes from the Enlightenment, which uh, holds that uh, the highest goal in life is to inquire and create, uh, to uh, search the uh, riches of the past, uh, try to uh, uh, internalize the parts of them that are significant to you, to carry that uh, quest for understanding further in your own way. The purpose of education uh, from that point of view is just to help people uh, determine how to learn on their own. It's you, the learner, who is going to achieve in the course of education. And it's really up to you what you'll uh, master, where you'll go, how you'll use it, uh, how you'll go on to uh, produce something new and exciting for yourself, maybe for others. That's one concept of education. Now, the other concept is essentially indoctrination. People have the idea that from childhood, young people have to be uh, placed into a framework in which they'll follow orders, accept existing frameworks and not challenge and so on, and this is often quite explicit. So, for example, after the uh, activism of the 1960s, there was great concern across much of the uh, educated spectrum that young people were just getting too free and independent, that the country was becoming too democratic and so on. And in fact, there's an important study on uh, what's called the crisis of democracy, too much democracy arguing that, uh, claiming that there are certain institutions responsible for the indoctrination of the young, that's their phrase, and they're not doing their job properly. That's uh, schools, universities, churches. We have to change them so that they carry out the job of indoctrination and control more effectively. That's actually coming from the liberal internationalist end of the spectrum of the, internet, of the, uh, the spectrum of educated opinion. And in fact, since that time, there have been many measures taken to try to turn the educational system towards uh, more control, more indoctrination, uh, uh, more vocational training, uh, 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 imposing a debt which traps students, young people, into a life of conformity and so on. That's the exact opposite of what I refer to as the tradition that comes out of the Enlightenment. And there's a constant struggle between those. In the colleges, in the schools, in the schools do you uh, train for passing tests or do you train for uh, creative uh, inquiry? pursuing interests that are aroused by a material that's presented and that you want to pursue either on your own or in cooperation with others. And this goes all the way through uh, up to uh, graduate school and research. Two different ways of looking at the world. When you get to, a, say, a research institution like the one we're now in, at the graduate level, it essentially follows the Enlightenment tradition. In fact, science and, uh, couldn't progress unless it was based on uh, inculcation of the urge to challenge, to uh, question the doctrine, question authority, uh, search for alternatives, uh, use your imagination, uh, act freely under your own impulses, cooperative work with others is constant as you can see just by walking down the halls. That's, in my view, what uh, an educational system should be like down to kindergarten. But there certainly are powerful structures in the society which would prefer people to be indoctrinated, conform, not ask too many questions, be obedient, fulfill the uh, roles that are assigned to you, and don't try to shake systems of power and authority. Those are choices we have to make either as people that wherever we stand in the educational system as students, as teachers, as people on the outside trying to help shape it in the directions in which we think it ought to go. And again, education is really aimed at just uh, helping students get to the point where they can learn on their own, because that's what you're going to do for your life, not just uh, absorb materials given to you from the outside and repeat it. If that's the way teaching is done, students will really gain from it and will uh, not only remember what they studied, but will be able to use it as a basis for going on on their own.